Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2018 video tutorial. It's sort of a user wish. I did a dome and I made it of bricks or I created the bricks in SolidWorks. That's very simple and you could use those bricks to build that dome in an assembly. So let's have fun with SOLIDWORKS so I will make the dome with a what it's called a fill surface here it's called where is it there you go it's a fill surface yes you could use any profile and make a revolve surface and then thicken it so it doesn't really matter let's go for a sketch on the top plane I want to use a circle and the diameter might be 200. Leave that sketch. Now I will make an extrude to get to my fill surface. If you don't want to use that feature, you could do it with a revolve surface. Doesn't really matter. So let's go for an extrude. Maybe the other way around and make it maybe 50. Doesn't really matter. Confirm. Now let's hide the sketch. And let's go for our full surface. There you go. Select the edge and make it tangent. So, this didn't quite work because I've selected the sketch and I wanted the edge. So let's go here, not the sketch, but select other, I want the edge. Now I can go for tangent condition and reverse the surface and confirm. Now I could hide that one. And let's cut that surface. Therefore, we'll need another plane and an axis. So, go to features, go to axis, make it two planes. And I want to use, of course, the front and the right plane for the axis. Now let's do another plane. Use that axis and maybe the front plane as reference. Don't make it perpendicular or coincident. Make it with an angle. There you go. And that angle should be, I want it to be 20 bricks in one ring. So I go for 360 divided by 20. 360 divided by 20. And confirm. Now let's trim that surface. Maybe show that plane for a moment. Go to trim surface. That would be here. And that's the tool, and I want to remove that side. Confirm. Use it once more. Trim. Now that's the tool. Remove this one. That's the tool. And I want to remove this side. Confirm. Let's hide those planes. Now I want to thicken that surface. So go to thicken, select the surface and make it to 
that side to the inside and I go for 10 millimeters confirm now I need a sketch on my front plane I want to include that edge so go for convert entities select that edge and confirm now let's hide that body and the solid body as well and this one should be hidden of course and that sketch could be hidden as well that's it now in order to split that profile into equal pieces I will use that command segment it might be not in your multi ribbon but you can always customize that one go to commands go to sketch and select the tools you need and just put it by drag and drop up here and we'll cancel this out now with that segment command I can split or I could split it or I could just put sketch points with equal distance along that curve so select that and I will go for 5 you can go for 10, 20, whatever you want like this then I need to draw lines snap it and just maybe like this don't snap put those right there or I could of course trim it but I need a constraint this line should be perpendicular to that curve so select the line select the curve and make it perpendicular select the line select the curve make it perpendicular select line curve perpendicular line curve perpendicular line curve perpendicular now if I make them all a little bit longer I can now trim so go for trim let's make it like this so this should really yeah because I didn't project that axis into my sketch so I could do that so go for convert entities go there if it's possible that's not possible that's crazy so I will draw a line from that point up to this one and make it for construction and now I could trim okay leave that sketch I will need some surfaces to split my body into more bodies okay so let's see I need a revolve surface that would be this one and you should first select that axis then go to revolve then select line 
select it once more and clear that selection and go for maybe mid plane and make it 90 degrees and the axis should be this one and confirm same for the next one, select, make it visible, okay. select the axis, go for the revolve, select that line, select, clear that one, select this one, and select the contour, that would be this one, go for mid plane, go for 90 and confirm once again revolve line clear mid plane 90 confirm I need twice more, so okay. Clear, select, contour is this one. Seems I've selected by accident something else. This should be not the contour. That's okay, and the contour should be, of course, this one just that one yeah once more and that should be the contour just that one yes it's a little bit slow because I've installed SolidWorks not on my solid state drive but on my normal hard drive. That always takes a little bit. Okay, now I can cut my body. Where is my body? There it is, my thickened body. You could split it into pieces and those pieces will be saved as bodies and in so it works those bodies will be parts okay i might extend this surfaces a little bit so go for extend select just to make sure it works maybe 10 millimeter confirm once more after all this program has a s s power solid kernel and there could be problems so to avoid such problems I will extend those splitting surfaces And another one right there, and okay. And now I should be able to split that body into pieces. So go to insert features split trim tools are those surfaces this one, this one, that one. 
this one and that one and I want to split that body cut bodies and I want to give it some names yeah so first you have to save that one so just go for save and give it a name call it I will call it brick dome and now we can split again go to insert features split one face two faces three faces four and five and i want to cut this body cut the bodies now give it some names that's the brick if we begin from the bottom this would be brick two or two brick next one would be let's take a look the three brick next one that's the fourth brick next one five Now the top ones, let's call that top brick. And that one at the bottom, that's the brick base or base brick, whatever you want, because I've cut already that name, so we'll go for base brick. and confirm yeah there seems to be some difference in the units but that doesn't matter and it takes a while and now you will have those six bodies right here and those six bodies are in six different windows opened and there are parts which you could use in assembly and build that dome with bricks and how would it look like i could do a pattern right here so let's hide those surface bodies and maybe that sketch which should be somewhere here okay now i could do a, a pattern right there in the part circular pattern direction would be this one i need 20 pieces in the 60 degrees equal spacing and i want to pattern the bodies so let's select them one, two, three, four, five, and the top one six, and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.